Do you think you can spot the difference between which of these 3D prints took almost four hours to print versus 10 hours versus almost 24 hours to print? Well, it's pretty easy to spot the resin 3D print out of all of these FDM 3D prints, but I really wanna focus in on today on print quality that you can achieve with your FDM 3D printer and how it is getting eerily close to the kind of quality that we can get from our resin 3D printers. But we're gonna be taking a look at our FDM 3D printers and the combination of your nozzle size plus your layer heights to see which combination might be the perfect option for you to print with to maximize print quality and still maintain a good quick print time. Now I've actually done some of these videos in the past comparing your resin 3D prints to your FDM 3D prints and you know almost 10 times out of 10 your resin 3D printer is going to be able to provide you with a higher quality resulted 3D print than what you can get off of your FDM 3D printer. However, I have been a really big fan of Once in a Six Side, some of his latest videos showcasing how he's 3D printing miniatures on his FDM 3D printer using resin 3D printed supports, which is just insane to me. I'm not going to go into detail on how he's doing that. I'll have the video linked. Definitely go check it out because it's really wild. And I actually don't 3D print a whole heck a lot of miniatures outside of my resin 3D printers. However, I do print a lot of statues and detailed things off of my FDM 3D printers, which is why I'm digging into this whole concept of what's the optimal nozzle size and layer height so that we're maximizing our quality of 3D prints and not wasting a lot of time with the 3D printing. And to start things off, we're gonna be looking at, I think the baseline that pretty much everyone goes to when it comes to an FDM 3D printer is a 0.4 nozzle and a 0.2 layer height. This is a classic standard size option that you're gonna get great results, but it might not provide you with the best quality that you're looking for. And as you can see, this first print turned out incredible using that baseline combination of a 0.4 nozzle and a 0.2 layer height. We're getting some of the details here that all printed properly with the chain. You're seeing some of the details pop in the face, the textures in the hair all look good, but it's still a little rough along the top areas of the print. But this was only a five and a half hour print for this whole thing to fully print. And obviously we're gonna take a look at reprinting this at lower layer heights and lower nozzle sizes, which which will inevitably get us better print results. However, one thing that I wanna test out is that a lot of people claim that you can get the same exact results using a 0.6 millimeter nozzle printing at a 0.2 layer height. So that's exactly what I did here. And this print with a 0.6 nozzle at a 0.2 layer height, it does look good, but in my opinion, it is nowhere near as good as the quality that we were getting from that 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Definitely the chain did not print anywhere as good as we we saw with the 0.4 nozzle and the details in the face are just not showing up as cleanly as we were seeing with that 0.4 nozzle. Also the hair textures on the very top are a lot rougher looking than what we were seeing with that 0.4 nozzle. But this printed almost an hour and a half faster than what we saw with a 0.4 nozzle. So there is that trade-off of print time savings versus quality that you might get. Again, I'm just trying to give you options depending on what projects that you're printing with. And in my opinion, this is good if you're not shooting for the best print quality possible. But what I wanted to see is, all right, well that was with a 0.2 layer height in the 0.6 nozzle, but what if we drop that down to let's say a 0.18 layer height and reprinted this? And this time taking about 30 minutes longer than the 0.2 version of the same print with the same nozzle. And again, very similar issues with the chain. There is slightly better quality features that I'm seeing on the face, but it's still rather rough looking. And I knew one of you in the comments was gonna ask, well, why didn't you print with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle at a 0.2 layer height, just for comparison? So that's exactly what I did. And shockingly, this did not print really any faster than what we were seeing with a 0.6 nozzle and the results are definitely not as good as what we were seeing with the 0.6 or the 0.4. I mean, as expected, with a 0.8 and up nozzle, I really would not intend on printing anything with fine detail at such a small size. That's really reserved for printing really large objects or printing in vase mode statues, that sort of thing with a 0.8 nozzle and up is where you're gonna really find your sweet spot. Also, one thing that I'm loving about all the advancements with these newer 3D printers is just how easy it is to swap out your nozzles from one size to another. This literally took all of maybe three minutes for me to swap out and then re-ran the bed leveling and I was 
off to the races. And speaking of swapping out the nozzles, this is where I think things start to get pretty interesting is when I went back to the 0.4 millimeter nozzle and started going lower in layer height from our standard 0.2. First off, I printed this at a 0.12 layer height using the built-in profiles for the Centauri Carbon. And this took nine hours and 27 minutes to print. So effectively by just lowering our layer height from a 0.2 to a 0.12, we've effectively almost doubled the print time for this. However, I think the print results off of this look really good. Like this is, we're really starting to see some of the textures and details in the cloth here, as well as on the face. We can start really starting to see some of the details in the facial hair, in the mole, also the hair on the very top of the head and the, uh, the printing on the top surface areas in general just look a lot better at this lower resolution. So we're gonna kick it up a notch by dropping the layer height down to 0 0.08 with this 0.4 millimeter nozzle and getting this printed. And it took just about 12 hours for this to print. So a good two hours longer than the 0.12 version. And this is where we're really starting to see things excel in my opinion. This looks fantastic, a lot. And I mean, a lot of the details are really starting to show through at this extreme low layer height. And it still only took us 12 hours for this to print. I know it's a good bit longer than the original five hours, but we are seeing a drastic improvement in all the hair, the cloth, and the facial features off of this print. And as you might've guessed, today's video is also being sponsored by Elegoo. They are the makers of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon that I'm using to 3D print all of these Robert Downey Jr. Dr. Doom busts. And not only does Elegoo have some amazing filaments that I'm using to print these busts in, but they also have all the different nozzle sizes that you could possibly need for your Centauri Carbon. Plus, if you're on the flip side of things and looking for an amazing resin 3D printer, Elegoo is well known for their great quality resin 3D printers from the Elegoo Mars to the Elegoo Saturn. If you're interested in more information about any of Elegoo's 3D printers, you'll find links to those down below. And clearly, we're going to get the best results by using a 0.2 millimeter nozzle right? Well, I'm not entirely sure of that. We are getting even better, crispier looking prints with the 0.2 nozzle, reprinting this at a 0.12 layer height. And we're really starting to see the details pop here. However, it took even longer as expected for this to print. This was a 16 hour print here for this full job to finish. And again, we're seeing lots of details really starting to come through on the texture of the garments here, as well as the facial hair, the facial features and the skin. We can really start starting, starting to see some of the textures in the skin. And then the top surface finish is looking really smooth compared to most of the other prints. And even comparing the 0.2 millimeter nozzle at 0.12 to the 0.4 nozzle at 0.08 layer height, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to, to digest there. The, it's still very close. And again, I'm not quite sure the uh, additional print time is worth it for the results that we're getting. It's not that much better. I mean, it's better, but it's not that much better, if that makes any sense. And then to really push things to the max, I printed with that 0.2 millimeter nozzle at a 0.08 eight millimeter layer height, which took a staggering 23 hours for this print project to finish. And in fact, I'm even th thinking this doesn't look as good because we're he seeing a number of defects within the print here. Uh, it looks like maybe there was a little bit of under extrusion potentially happening there where there's some discoloration or maybe it's just some of the settings within the profile needs to be further modified to account for that extreme low layer height with the nozzle here. But it's probably as close as we're gonna to get to the resin quality. And I'm not even sure it's worth the additional seven hours of print time over the 0.2 nozzle at 0.12 layer height for the end result. It's again, not that much better in terms of print quality that we're seeing here. It's definitely the sharpest with the details. That's for sure. Like the facial features that we're seeing and the facial hair is clearly going to be called out and more defined with this, but I'm not entirely sure it's worth all of the extra print time that we're seeing with this. Also, there are just some things that I'm not sure a FDM 3D printer will ever be able to properly print like these glasses here that were printed in resin for the Robert Downey Jr. Dr. Doom bust. Uh, I tried printing these with the 0.2 nozzle at a 0.08 layer height and they just, they printed, but you could not physically get them to remove from any supports or anything like that without the actual parts breaking apart because of just how thin they are. And in fact, 
even these resin printed versions here are so thin and so fragile that it's it's something that's like, it's just a really difficult thing to handle, but it's the only type of printer that can really achieve this in your home. And clearly this is all gonna wildly depend on what specifically you're trying to 3D print. But for me, when it comes to 3D printing things like statues here that I need to capture a lot of detail, I'm more than likely gonna be sticking with the 0.4 nozzle and just dropping down the layer height to either a 0.1 or a 0.08 layer height. Not only is this gonna provide fantastic looking results, it's also gonna print in a fraction of the time as it takes to print with those smaller 0.2 millimeter nozzles. And if anything, I'm hoping this video helps some of you out there determine what nozzle size and layer height you should be printing at to get the best possible results from your 3D prints. And if anything, you can always stick with throwing it down with a resin 3D print. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all and I'll see you next time. Bye now. And I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making videos just like this one here on the internet.